Oh shit. Yeah, another one of those exploding zombies, and we have some kind of a flying wraith thing. First time I've seen that. Oh, two phoenixes! Wonderful! It's getting real, folks. It is getting real. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are um, going to continue work on the tunnel. So I have dug all the way uh, through the mountain, uh, out the other side, and we had a little bit of a gap here that I had to bridge, and we are at, at this point, and we basically just have to get down to where that cactus is, and then all we have to do is drive around that little um, smaller mountain there to get to the town. So we're in pretty good shape. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start... Um, and by the way, I, uh, I only made the tunnel too wide for now for the motorcycle. Um, it's not my intention right now to make it wide wide enough for the four by, but we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see about that. If if I do that at all, it'll be something you know that'll be done later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these here um, for the start of our bridge. And I think I'm gonna do that as well we'll make we'll put two up here and later on i'll put like little plates or something over the the gaps here um i don't have any cobblestone with me to repair that but that's fine okay so what we're gonna do is um let's come on down here and we just need to get the wedge pieces started for the bridge here All right, so let's do this. We're gonna just we're gonna go down one side first. Um, actually, hold on. I want to. Uh, yeah, I want two separate piles here. So this one's going to be the wedges, and this one, whoops, and this one is going to be the wedge tips. Okay. So we need to turn that around that way. And turn those that way. And then we're going to have to... We're going to have to flip those upside down too. All right, so in that case, well, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, we are going to want to do that. Um, if I do this and then do advanced rotation, yeah, keep those there. Oh, you know what? I think we can do the whole rest of this just with the with these tips. Uh, oh no, we can't. We can't because it's not going to fit correctly. I need to I need to do this. It's just really hard for me to see what's going on there otherwise. Actually, is there, there should be a shape for that now that I think about it. I just don't know if the rebar shape has it. It would be, yeah, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to make wet concrete blocks or flagstone to get the, the shape we would need. But there's a shape that, that fits here, but apparently it's not available in rebar. All right, um... Well, okay, if that's the case, then let's go ahead and do that. Because if I put these in here, it, you know, it's going to stick out and look kind of stupid. Okay, well, I guess that means I need to run back to the base and make some wet concrete blocks to go on the, you know, on this side. 
All right, well, let me do that. Um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we are back. Ended up uh, staying at the house for a little while because it took it took me a while to get the uh, concrete blocks made, and I had to repair my. Oh, you want sand for that? Okay. Uh, I had to repair the spikes too. I'm getting to the point where I'm having to repair them almost every day now, just because we're getting you know the tier three monsters coming in, and they're a lot tougher to kill, but. It's still a pretty good system up to this point. We might have to eventually do something a little more elaborate, but it's working out for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what we're going to do... <coughs> Man, <coughs> I took a, a drink of coffee and some of it went down the wrong tube. Ah, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to switch to the wedge tips here. And then these we're going to switch to these concrete wedge inclines. Okay. And these guys will fit right here. So we just basically have to alternate. Oh, you know what though? I need I do need to make I need to split these in half. So those will go that direction. I actually want those on the <coughs> on the left, not that it matters, I guess. And then I want these. If I just do an on face, what does that do? Oh, perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to just tell it to copy the rotation so it stays locked in that position. Okay, so we're going to have to start thinking about some supports here. Um, I also have to consider the angle of the ramp, so it's going to come to about here. <clears throat> and then, uh, oh man. That's going to be one hell of a long ramp, isn't it? Okay, well, let's take it to here first, and then we'll kind of assess where we're at. Um, So, can I... Uh, this, is, this might collapse. Nope. Okay, that's good. All right. I think we definitely need some support for the next... The next part though. So we want to go right here. Um No, I think that's that's right because it's actually gonna stick down. What am I doing? I'm having trouble seeing. Okay. That's actually <clears throat> resting against that block there. Yeah, okay. And that one I can put on there, and this one I can come around. Oh, can I get it up there? Don't say anything. There we go. <coughs> okay. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to put in... Uh, to think about this for a second. Okay, here we're going to put in... Let's grab some more, more of these and make them just... Uh, could make them pillars just for funsies. Okay, we're going to put a pillar there and a pillar there. Because it's, you know, because it's two blocks instead of three, I can't center them. Unless there's a, um, a centered, uh, or an offset pillar. I don't think there is. Not that I can remember. All right, and then this, this one's going to have to then be the wedge... Uh, yeah, this wedge here. Like so. Okay. And these are no longer needed. 
All right, what are we going to do about this? Um, that is going to be one hell of a long ramp if we just keep it going down. And especially when we get further down, we're going to have really high pillars. And we can do it. It's just, I don't know if, if there's a better solution, like cutting it, <clears throat> uh, you know, to the side. And having it go maybe along this cliff here. The, the problem with if, if I try and do it by following the land, though, it's going to be a 45 degree angle, so it's going to be pretty steep. But what we could do is cut it over here and then do another bridge down that way. What is your problem, homie? You know, another thing, another possibility actually is to have it come off of here instead and come down to here, and then we've got some flat ground here for a little while could we make it all the way over along this ridge here I'm just trying to not use a ton of resources is all all right so we could potentially come along here and then you know bridge down to there maybe but now we have kind of a long, out-of-the-way road. So, yeah, I'm not super thrilled about that idea either, to be honest. What's chasing me? I hear combat music, but I see no zombies or buzzards. Maybe it's those guys down there, I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, the most direct route's going to be just to build a really huge, long-ass ramp all the way down to the ground. That's probably going to be our best bet. So, if that's what we got to do, then that's what we got to do. All right, well, let's keep working on it then. Uh, by the way, today is uh, Horde Day 147. And in the last episode, I said we were going to do that spooky house, but um, <clears throat> we're not going to. We're going to. We're not going to make that in this episode. I'm just going to, because I, even if we stopped now and went over and started doing I have no idea how long that's going to take. Um, so I'm just going to work on this um, for the rest of today. And then we'll probably actually do the Horde Night in this episode later on today. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm going to work on this, guys. And I'll bring you back at some point with an update on where we are. Uh, either that or I'll just meet you uh, at the Horde base uh, when the Horde Night starts. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, almost made it all the way down, but I ran out of resources, so we're we're getting really close there. Uh, but it is also uh, almost time for the Horde Night, too. So I'm going to run back to the base, get uh, my stuff, and I'll meet you um, at the, the Horde base. And we'll do Horde 147 in our newly upgraded base with the new design. See you guys over there. All right, guys, Horde Night's just about ready to start. Uh, I did forget to do one thing, and that was I wanted to upgrade the second level of this building to steel. I got my window open and a jet plane's going by, so sorry about the noise there. Uh, but let's get at least this upgraded. I'll probably eventually upgrade this whole building to steel too, but for tonight, we're just gonna do the second level. So yeah, uh, hopefully we'll have a good horde night tonight. We've got um, Junkie here to help us out with vultures now. Um, we are a little over halfway to the next level, and I currently have one level, which I'm going to put into doo -doo 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 -doo, right into agility. Oh, I guess I need two points for that. Okay, so yeah, we have one level now, and we're a little over halfway to the next level. Okay, well... Uh, nothing's going to change in terms of how we use this base. I, it's just a little bit, a um, little bit more um, capable, you know, to use. But I'm still going to do the same thing where we kind of let them build up. Uh, Ravenhurst keeps freezing on me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the zombie spawning in, probably. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let them build up for a bit before I start throwing uh, the bombs, and we'll see how our XP does tonight.
I don't know if the super monsters are affected. I don't think they're affected by the fences. It doesn't seem to have any effect on them, but that's all right. I feel a lot more, a lot safer in this new pin just because I have more, more room now. So that's good. The mummy's getting zapped. Just let him build up here just a little bit. Bob's away. We almost got a f full bar for all of that. That's good. Yeah, it doesn't look like the bug guy's getting zapped at all by the electricity. Okay, we got our next level. All right, guys. Well, you know the drill. <laughs> We're going to pretty much do the same thing. I'll keep the recording running. We'll put some music on. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the morning. another one of those exploding zombies and we have some kind of a flying wraith thing first time I've seen that oh two phoenixes wonderful it's getting real folks it is getting real all right we got to kill this wraith thing 
Oh, there's two of them! <laughs> Lovely! Alright! Those are, uh, those are the Geists! When I had those on, um... Whatchamacallit? Juarez UK, they didn't fly in the air like that, though. I don't remember them flying in the air like that. Okay, we're getting some damage now, man. I keep getting the exploder zombos. I'm not talking about the vanilla demos, but the, you know, the modded zombos that explode. And they do do block damage, but our front end here is still holding up pretty good, so... This is definitely a lot more intense hard night uh, than we've had so far, which, again, is to be expected. Guys, it is morning. Oh, look at that. We got a behemoth. I think the... Did the morning kill him? No, he's still alive. I just now saw him, too. He can't... He can't get down into the... Yeah, he's gone. 
he can't get down into the thing. So I, he always goes up on top. And uh, oh wait, no, is he in there? He is in there. Never mind. All right, let's blow his ass up. I got him. Nice. Look at that, you guys. Eight freaking skill points. Eight skill points. That is just amazing. What? Uh, but two of those points are bonus points because we hit one level 100. But still, I mean, oh, actually, here, don't loot that yet. That's still pretty good, though. I mean, eight points in one Horde Knight. I don't know if I've ever gotten that many <laughs> points in a single Horde Knight before. Oh, man. Super, super effective. So, yeah, this... Ooh, look at that, too. Yeah, this um, Horde Knight was super smooth. It was safer for me because, you know, I had more room and didn't have to worry about blowing myself up. Uh, we did, once again, uh, see some block damage here, though. They didn't touch... Oh, I never actually did get a door in here, but they didn't they didn't touch this part. And that might have been that behemoth, because I don't know how long he was actually there. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot about my fence. <laughs> oh man, can't take me anywhere, you guys. Okay, here, let's turn the <laughs> That scared the hell out of me. Uh, let's turn that thing off. Oh man. Never a dull moment, right? So yeah, they they beat the tar out of the that again too, but I mean, still hugely successful, hugely successful. And, it, you know, it could be that from here on out, I'm not going to be able to avoid some block damage anyways. The important thing, though, is that they're not, you know, this is the most critical part. So this part here and this part here, and that's, I've never had any trouble keeping that stuff repaired. I mean, we, you could even make an argument that we don't even really need this chamber per se. We kind of mostly just need this wall here, but... It's nice to have it because then it keeps everything enclosed. Okay, let's check the loot. Okay, I think that does it. Uh, we found um, a really nice uh, SMG and a really nice uh, JNG-90 sniper rifle. 83 range damage. I wonder how that compares to my my other one. I'll have to take a look. So, yeah, overall, uh, pretty good. Pretty good Horde Knight. Going to have, you know, some block damage here, of course, they'll have to deal with. Um, you know, and you maybe I'll eventually upgrade everything to polished steel. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how well it turned out. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go back to the base, um, get some stuff situated, put some of this stuff away and whatnot. And, um, oh, let, actually, let's look at our points while I still have you. Um, let's take a look at our points here. So we've got, geez, we got eight points to spend. That is just amazing. That is just amazing. Okay. So we want to get agility up to seven for sure. So I'm just going to do that right now. And that means we can get hidden strike to four and run and gun to three. Okay, that leaves two points left. Um, what the hell? Let's just max out flurry of blows too, because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna help with our one-handed attacks. Though honestly, I don't, I don't notice that much difference. But I don't know. Maybe there is a difference, or maybe it only, does only apply to clubs. But anyway, we did it. Okay, so we're finished with agility, uh, I think, because, I mean, it would be nice to have assassin, but it's going to take uh, seven points just to get to parkour master, and I'm not going to bother wearing agility glasses. I just don't think that's worth it, um, because we're, you know, we'd go from 200 damage to 250 damage. So, I mean, that, that would be nice, but... I don't think it's worth it to put that many points into Julie, at least not right now. 
Okay, so let's see. What are we going to be looking at next? Probably physician, really. I mean, it would be very good for us to put some points in here because it makes our medical uh, stuff more effective. And our chemistry station crafting is faster, too. So I, I'm assuming that counts for everything like gunpowder and gasoline and all that. Um, I mean, Master Chef wouldn't be a bad one. Heavy Armor wouldn't be a bad one because we're kind of, like I said, getting to that point where... We just kind of have points to spend. Iron gut wouldn't be bad, not not so much for the food effect, but for the buff effect, you know, uh, lasting longer, especially for mining and stuff like that. So that's an, one to look at. Um, and, yeah, so I think we're going to focus on physician next. And we'll, we'll probably get that up to, does this require, in, yeah, uh, we already have nine, so we can get this maxed all the way up. And after that, we'll figure out uh, what what the next one is to do. Anyway, let me go get stuff put away. I think what we're going to do is go back out to the desert and finish our our ramp, uh, our little highway out there. And then, depending upon how our time goes, uh, maybe we'll hit a couple of random POIs uh, while we're out in the desert town. So I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back um, to our tunnel. So let's go on through to the other side. The ramp is almost all the way down to the ground. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a of a bump when we get down there, but not too bad. In fact, I could probably stop it here. And yeah, it'll just stay up there. Nice. Okay, yeah, so we are really close to finishing this up. Shouldn't take us too long at all to do. Um, so let's get are these guys divided up again into I, I guess we actually need three excuse me pardon me sir it's kind of rude you too ma'am Edgar go away okay okay so let's see this one we want to be on the cylinders for our our pillars here. Someone else is coming after us. Where are you at? Oh, over here. All right, she did. Oh, okay, let's see. I'm going to get this down here. And we need to... We actually need to put these guys up here. Oh, it's flipping around too much. Okay, did it again. Um, oh, shoot, the bike's in the way. Okay, well, let's do that one anyway. And then we'll put these two in place here. And... I guess I'll just leave that piece out and until we can get up there and get it put put in. All right, now um, this guy's got to be the tip going this direction. And this one is the tip going the other direction. <clears throat> And if we just do an on face and then do a copy rotation, it'll stay in that arrangement for us. Okay, let's get these guys down here. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't flip it around. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. Yep. Okay. And this one can go there. These only need to be too high.
And these are effectively touching the ground here, so we don't need to put any more supports in. We are going to have a bit of a lip there, though, aren't we? So, let's see. How do we deal with this? We can do that. Yeah, I think that's that's what we need to do. Um, I know it looks kind of stupid now, though, that the other piece isn't in there. Um, where's my shovel? Okay, I think that does the trick. I think that does the trick. Can we do something like this, though? Probably shouldn't have done that there, but ah, it'll be okay. We just have to make sure we come at it from straight on. Okay, let's pull him down that way. Just gotta pop this guy in here. And we're done. I might upgrade this to reinforce. Don't really need to though. Okay, cool. Let's see how she does going up up the ramp. A little bit of slow down, but not too bad. There isn't any really any way to turn around in here. <laughs> Why well, have to make a a little like you know a little cutout thing to turn around? I mean, I could if I wanted to. I could even widen it, you know, for the four x four. But the only reason I would do that is if I had a whole bunch of loot to haul back. But considering the amount of work and resources, <coughs> excuse me, that that would take, we'd be better off just making multiple trips. Woo! Look at that. All right, there you go, guys. There you go. So it's a little rough coming through here, but not not a big deal for the motorcycle. So I don't think we need to do anything more on this. Very cool. Okay, I have no idea where we are on time, but I suspect we're probably quite a ways over on on time for this episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Let you guys go, and then in the next episode, I think we will get back to doing some more uh, custom POIs. Also, tomorrow is Saturday, November the 6th, and I will be live streaming, and we will be getting back to some Tier 5s uh, during that stream, too. So, um, you know, if you guys want to catch that, you know, uh, I'll let you know in the episodes, uh, the next episode that I do which live streams those were uh, for the tier fives and um, other than that guys uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye